So uh, today I'm going to uh, demonstrate a uh, very important concept in, uh, in in the field of equity that is stop loss. Uh, we all are aware of stop loss. Uh, I think the issue happens in terms of building a system of stop loss uh, because sometimes market is volatile and you need to protect your gains by defining stop loss. Usually uh, one of the things that I do is that I evaluate my scripts on a daily basis and update my stop loss to make sure that I preserve my game. Some people do it on a weekly basis as well. Uh, and I'm sure uh, all of you follow that process of updating stop loss in your investing journey. Uh, today I'm going to showcase a very simple system uh, built on the top of Google spreadsheet, which is sort of free of cost, uh, where uh, you can maintain your stop loss, uh, but more importantly, you'll be also notified when your stock is hitting the stop loss and which gives you a time to go and act on it or it gives you time to go back to the chart and trigger a sell process. All right. So below this video, I have shared a uh, link, which is which is a link to a spreadsheet. You have to copy the spreadsheet and put it to the browser. Uh, this spreadsheet is already pre-configured, so you don't have to do much. Uh, uh, you just have to follow the process of the video. So once you copy paste the URL to your system, you will see a spreadsheet like this. I, like the way you are seeing in your screen. Uh, you have to make a copy for yourself. So here I am making a copy called uh, SL uh, Loknath 1.1. So before I go to the details, uh, I just want to talk about the two stop loss processes that we follow. Uh, the first one is of course something called a trading stop loss which is more dynamic uh, which is uh, which is on a closing days price uh, related to the closing days price we always put a percentage stop loss. Uh, so basically we say that on the previous day's closing if the stock is going down by 5% on the current day then please kick me out for example. or or many times we have our own criteria so in that case we put a custom price uh, say I, I'm, I'm entered a stock on breakout then I might want to put the breakout level as my stop loss so we follow different methods uh, here I'm trying to do uh, trying to cover both so uh, let me just take you through the, through the spreadsheet first uh, the cells that is in gray color you need not enter anything there uh, it will be automatically taken care of what you're seeing here is a spreadsheet um, where there is one row where uh, details of TCS is entered. Uh, TCS, TCS's price with respect to Friday uh, uh, is written here. Uh, 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 so basically I've entered it on say, suppose I have entered it on say 11th or 12th. Uh, so so then you'll see that, see that the price on uh, 11th was about 3334 and uh, as of today that is as of Friday it is 3373 so there has been a gain of 1% uh, uh, yeah so the previous price is basically the price of Friday you will see a slight difference between the current price and previous price because this is how the Google Finance works a very minor difference uh, then uh, so now what I want to do is I want to put a stop loss, right? So I have already gained about 1%. I want to put a stop loss on this. What I am saying is that, you know, if the price is the next day's price crosses 5%, uh, then the close of previous day price that is 3,334, send me an alert or, 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 or that's my stop loss. Or what I can actually do is that I say, no, I don't want to go by percentage. I just want to have a, a fixed number. So that is, I say that uh, if the share price goes to, uh, if the share price is less than 4,000, then it's a stop loss for me, right? Uh, I'll try to add one more row. Let me try to add, say, three more rows. Uh, say, let's take, uh, for example, let's take Tata Steel, okay? So I just copied the row. Uh, I just made a copy of the row. And uh, I just um, copy Tata Steel's symbol. Um, so I just removed TCS, enter Tata still. As I said, um, most of the columns will be filled up. Oh, I think there's a mistake here. I'll correct this. Um, yeah. So, so if you see here, the Tata still also has been populated. Now, 
Tata Steel, uh, I have entered the date of say Thursday when the price was about 118. Uh, on Friday it was 120. So on 118, I want to have a 5% stop loss. So the 5% stop loss is already calculated that is 112. Uh, but I don't. If I don't like this five percent stop loss, uh, let me make it even more stricter to stop loss. Say I want to have a stop loss of say 120. Okay. Now what happens in this particular column is that based on the stop loss, it tells you whether it's a hold or a sell. So that means your uh, stop loss has not been hit in data still, but but it is showing that in TCS the stop loss has been hit. Uh, for BSC stock. You have to use enter something called uh, something as a BOM. So, for example, if I take NGL Fine Chem, so you have to have the prefix as BOM. So, I've done that. Uh, so, I'm creating a row for NGL Fine Chem. Um, uh, so, it's not NSC, it's BOM. So, so if you see this now, so you see that NGL Fine Chem has been populated. The price was about 1500 uh, and it's actually 1% drop. Uh, so <coughs> on uh, 1553, I want to have a stop loss of minus 5%. So it's all good right now. Right? Now this is good. I mean, this is no big deal here. But now the next part is how do I, how do I, how will I be alerted in case of, of a stop loss? Now, please note that the current price is a dynamic one. You don't have to enter this. So that means when you open this spreadsheet on the next day, this price will be updated with respect to next day's price. Hence, and the stop loss has been set with respect to the previous price. Hence, it becomes truly uh, trading, correct? So tomorrow, this previous price will be same as today's price. So, so with respect to today's price, there'll be a 5% trading stop loss or a custom, a custom stop loss price that you have added. So this becomes a very dynamic system and this sheet keeps updating as of when the price is fluctuating. So it is not a fixed thing. So every hour, if the price is going up and down, your, your systems will be working in the background to see whether you are hitting the stop loss. Now, how do I get an alert? So what you got to do is that you will go to the extension and you have to have some, there is something called an app script. So click on that. Once you do that, it will actually open a script page. You don't have to do much. I'll just, uh, you don't have to even understand the coding uh, uh, nuances. Just go to the bottom of the screen and change it to your own email ID. Okay. So in this case, I'll change it to investloknath at gmail.com. Okay, so now we'll just do a quick run. So then you have to say hit the save and then you have to hit the run. When you do the run, what will happen is it will ask you for few permission. I'll take you through that. So it will ask you something called review permission, which is fine. So you have to select the Gmail that you have select that you have logged in. Then when you do that, you'll see error like this. Don't be worried about it. Click on the advance and just say go to stop loss right and then say allow so now what happened was your script is set and a email will be triggered to you with respect to your stop loss so if i go back to my email uh you see i got a mail which says stop loss two scripts uh, which says uh, okay maybe that's a small mistake here i'll correct that now it says that for Tata Consultancy, there is a stop loss here now. Why is that? Because, because the stop loss price was written as 4000 and the current price is 3,334. So the system felt that no, this is a stop loss and hence I need to send a mail. Correct. Okay? So now the question is whether I need to trigger the mail all the time to understand the stop loss. And that is where the beauty, that is where the magic begins. You don't have to trigger this script all the time okay you have to come to a section called triggers and then once you do the trigger uh, you you can click on add a trigger in your in your gmail right select the particular stop loss uh, then 
select this from the event source just say time driven okay you can make this system run on a hourly basis also so that means you if you set hourly basis the system is going to check the prices every hour and send going to send you an email if you're going to do it in a minutes basis it's going to check the sheet on a minutes basis and send and trying to send you a mail i'll select say day timer because i want to check this on a particular day more importantly when i select day timer it also have an option that when you want the system to check your for your stop loss so i usually prefer to do this between 2 to 3 pm which is the, towards the end of the day so i can say set that and say save now what happens is every day between 2 to 3 the system will actually look for the current prices of your stocks and going to send you a email if certain prices are going below your stop loss or approaching approaching below your stop loss prices and you are going to get a email with this particular subject line right so hope this will be useful uh if you if you want you can actually use it for also entering into stocks right say though though this i explained this from a stop loss perspective suppose you are waiting for a stock to cross a particular limit you can try that as well hope this will be useful thank you so much Hi everyone uh this is the second part of the post where i'm sharing a spreadsheet which can be used for <clears throat> setting alerts on a particular if 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 your stock achieves a particular target you'll be alerted so if you see here um the first few columns are same uh, as i said the column in gray color is read only you don't have to touch it uh, you have to enter your stock the first column so the idea here is that uh in case you want to have a system where you want to enter a stock after a particular price level has been achieved or uh, for example uh, you are waiting for a stock to break out and then take a position or you want to book profit after a particular target has been achieved you can use this sheet what this sheet will do what this alert system will, will do is that it will send you an email once the current price of the stock has crossed your target price right so apart from the stop loss spreadsheet uh, i hope you can use this and maintain your whole uh, transaction uh, uh, systems really efficiently you can actually use this also for tranching up so you can you can always evaluate your stocks on a daily or a weekly basis and put a target saying that if the stock price crosses a particular limit then only you should tranche up so on a busy day this emails will actually help you the process of setting this excel is very similar to the earlier excel you have to follow the exact same step the link of this spreadsheet is also given below the post hope this will be useful